It's healed extremely well. Fully recovered and back at sure. home. But when Roger Backhouse travelled to India on holiday last year, his foot started to swell and he began to feel unwell. He spent most of his vacation laid up and in hospital. He was diagnosed with a disease called necrotizing fasciitis. What I was told was that it was a skin-eating disease and its worst form could spread up to the heart very quickly and it, then it was curtains. No, it's right foot. When he returned home to Winchester, part of his treatment, bioengineered honey, applied directly to the affected areas. Within a fairly short period of time, say half an hour, I was aware of the sense of healing. So you that could actually feel it getting better? I could feel it getting better, yes, and that is not alive. Roger's honey treatment was prescribed by consultant Matthew Dryden. Surgy honey is, is a delivery mechanism. It's based on real honey, but what it delivers are these reactive oxygen molecules at a much higher level that are able to eliminate all resistant bacteria. I think this is a really significant development in the management of infection. It's not going to replace antibiotics. It's going to be act with antibiotics to help control these multi-resistant bacteria. This is basically the inside of the nasal cavity. And New uses for medical honey are now being investigated by teams of researchers, including those at the University of Southampton. They're looking at how to treat resistant and recurrent infections in patients with long-term sinus problems. Many of the samples that the team are working with here are so infectious that it's good practice to keep them behind this protective glass to keep them sterile. But Ali, you're going to explain to us what you've been finding. Yeah, so these are plates full of bacteria that have been untreated and you can see these circular wells full of bacteria. After we treat them with an engineered honey, we can see that the majority of the uh, bacteria are killed off. It is extremely effective, uh, really excited about the results and it's not just in Staphylococcus aureus, it seems to be effective also against MRSA and MRSA is a huge uh, you know, worldwide issue and if it can also be used to treat MRSA well, that would be uh, a huge uh, bonus as well. Doctors predict if we don't find effective alternatives to antibiotics we'll be heading back to the dark ages. Further research now needed to discover what hope a golden future might offer. Christine Osford, ITV News.